what I'm gonna do is cut this glove in half and show you what is inside one of these foam hmm. gloves. Cool. So, do this. Okay, so I've been trying to put this video together for a while, but just for whatever reason, just probably being too busy. Now there's a difference between being busy and productive. Mm. Been really productive. Sometimes a little bit busy, but productive. So you have to, there's a difference between the two. You know, you can stay busy running in place all day, not getting anything done, but yeah. it's if you're getting stuff done. So what I'm going at is, this is a brand new Gwen's glove, got the receipt. $119 these gloves are. We did some videos on how to wrap hands and the difference between a horse hair glove. There's horse hair in here. See, it's all squishy and whatever. And it's been used in one fight, maybe like three times training. But this, so this is the, this is what it actually looks like even when they're brand new. I mean, this wow. thing's still brand new. Okay, this is foam, okay? it's This is what you wanna train in. Like if you have somebody, like a coach you're training with that can lace you up in time every time, or they have those, um, oh, lace and loop. These things right here are genius. So if you don't have anybody all the time to lace you up, then you can put those on and it makes your life much easier. So lace and loop isn't giving us a kickback or if you want to be nice, you can send us a couple pairs. That would be so cool. What I'm going to do is cut this glove in half and show you what is inside one of these foam hmm. gloves. Cool. If I had a bigger pair of scissors, it would probably be a little bit more beneficial, but we're going to run it and see how this goes here. But not that many people seen what's inside of a glove, and this is a new glove, so you can see how it's all laid out. So, let's see how this goes. And it's not like twins um, sent me these either, but I'll show you. These are these are really good gloves. And I wish. Woo. And these things are thick too. These gloves are. They're not messing around. Yeah, the leather on this is money. A lot of people I know back in the day and still today when they get gloves made they'll send them overseas and this is what the glove they'll knock off there we go these these scissors normally we use them as like cornerman scissors these are the ones like for tape and all that yeah and yeah. it works really good so and i, I shreds through those but man, this foam is no joke. So just so you can see some of the progress, you got like the, the regular padding inside as you put the hand in, but then what you're actually hitting with, wham. One good thing, I don't have a pair, but it's kind of good that I don't. Um, the, the, this is leather, what we're using. A lot of companies, what they're using now on, on cheaper end gloves, the so to be leather, the plastic, whatever they're wrapping mm. with, has chemicals in it. So once you start sweating inside of your glove or outside, but that the chemicals go through, come out the, the glove mm. material. And so what's gonna do is go into your pores, go into your skin, your, your blood system, and then All you're bad. getting those chemicals. All bad. Um, so there's a lot of cancer that goes on with that. So. If you, and I get it, not everybody can afford leather gloves, but kind of look into it. And I'll make another video about that, or we'll make another video about which gloves you, know, you can kind of stay away from. I mean, if you really don't care, then that's on you. But if you can stay away from anything, I mean, it's bad enough now, just the air we're breathing. Okay, so like Troy said, there's different layers of glove, or different layers of foam in there that do different things. So, after you peel, and what they do is they'll sew the leather together, and then put the, um, they'll sew the leather, the leather together, the shape of the glove, and then put the foam in there, kind of cool. But if you undo it like that, essentially this is what you're, you're punching on when you slide your hand in there, okay? So, the top, this I do know for fact, that, that whatever's in the center, that's gonna be the thickest um, pad they use on there, but it's the same shape. And this is all carved out, because you see it's, it's good, but it's not perfect. They, they shape all this out by hand, okay? Some stuff, some uh, glove manufacturers will have it already like a, like a mold for it, but not so much on this. But this glove is like second to none. Like twins are a really good glove. But you can see 
there's four layers of pad in there. Top one's somewhat soft, and then as it gets in the middle, those the the harder, the more dense um, layers of foam, if you will. And then stitchings all from the inside. You can see that. Boom, boom, boom. And then around the wrist, that is, and that's what comes out of the wrist. That thing's dense too. So it's all that in a nutshell. So I'm not gonna cut cut my. Um, my horse hair up because those things are really expensive and they're kind of sentimental so but in and of itself so there you go you have quality leather which for sure is not going to tear and then from then you got uh four layers of foam and then that's that and it's, the thumb is different than the or it's the same but they're not going to have all four um pad you're not going to have four layers of pad on the thumb so you only need two because you shouldn't be punching anybody with your thumb there you go so you've seen what's inside of a boxing glove, a quality glove. If you have questions, if you have comments, please let us know. And then uh, we'll do something else. So maybe one of these days I'll put up horsehair. But the horsehair is just the same thing, but horsehair basically. And then I've got a video coming out of, have you ever seen a bag stuff? No. Okay, so my son Tanner did a video for me a while back. He did all post of, of stuff in a heavy bag. It's kind of oh, cool. Wow. It's really cool. So that's that. But if you have questions, if you have comments, because that's how I came up with this video right here. Somebody wanted to see what was actually inside of a boxing glove. This is a tie glove, but same thing. Same concept. So once again, you got questions, you got comments, let us know. But for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know. So which video do you want to watch? You want to watch that video? You want to watch that video? You know, that one's really good. But on the other hand, that one helps the video you just saw.